So when automating your test cases, uh, one of the crucial part is the reporting, right? So mostly people uh, are dependent on the by default reports that are generated by test ng or uh, maybe uh, like initially we used to uh, extend one of the reporting uh, tool that is XSLT reports, right? So if you're working with Maven, you must be uh, aware that uh, the the repository through which we use to generate XSLD reports are no more there, right? So it's it's uh, it was uh, with one of the Cosmi Naru plugin uh, which no more exists on uh, GitHub repository. So we are unable to generate XSLD report, right? But are the XSLD report very customized one? Like you can attach screenshots, you can uh, generate your own logs, you can do some customization in XSLT report. Are there any better reports than XSLT or are we still dependent on XSLT reports? There are a couple of other better reports available in the market like report engine is there. Extent report, uh, one of the uh, uh, very good looking report which can be easily customized as well, right? So we're gonna take a look at uh, these reporting in this example and we're gonna integrate it with Jenkins. So what uh, we are trying to do, I'm gonna show you uh, a bit example of this and then uh, in the next lecture, we'll be talking about detailed configuration of these reports, right? So let's say uh, I go to one of my uh, project, let's say in this project, I have two test cases. One is the login one and one is uploading a pic. So this is on uh, facebook.com. So I am intentionally going to fail uh, the second test. Uh, I'm not going to uh, do a successful login uh, over here. So I want to fail this test and I want to see that if a test case is failed, then a screenshot is captured and it's been attached to the report or not, right? So what I'll do, uh, I'll not going to run it from here. I'll go to my Jenkins and schedule a build from here, right? So let us see uh, the execution and let us then see how the reporting uh, will going to work. So it's running the project and sometime we're going to see uh, a browser that will show up. It has launched a Chrome browser and now it's navigating to facebook.com. We'll enter username, password, and uh, so the pass the login attempt was not successful, so it should not go to the second test case. It will gonna throw some uh, failure, right? So let let this uh, completely run. Let uh, the project run. It's still uh, running. So let us wait for a few seconds. Yeah, and now we'll go to the project and uh, we're gonna see uh, some HTML report plugin over here. If I click onto this, uh, so you can see this plugin over here. If I click on uh, upload pick text, you can see there's a screenshot that is attached over here for the failure. So this is uh, one of uh, the report, ng report that we are seeing over here. In the same way, uh, we can integrate uh, the extent report as well. As in, if I uh, show you the extent report, uh, if I go to this project, if I refresh this project, extent report must have been generated. So that is over here in your test output, sorry, in your target. In Surefire reports, you'll find one extent.html generated. So if I open this up, and if I uh, browse over here, so this is uh, extent report that is being generated. So do login was a success, so it shows pass. Upload pick was a failure. If I go over here, it has mentioned what failure was, what selector was missing. And if we go down, then we're gonna see uh, a screenshot attached to it as well, right? So this can be integrated uh, with Jenkins as, an, as well, like you're seeing uh, something called an HTML report over here. Same way, I can configure one plugin extent report and you're gonna see that plugin as well over here. So the one that I'm talking about is if I build it again,
So it's building. Uh, Chrome browser is up. And the test fails. We'll wait for a few seconds. And uh, let it finish. Yeah, the test has successfully executed. Okay, so if I go over here, you'll see uh, one extent reports over here. Like the way we have seen HTML report, this was the HTML with screenshot. I'll go back and click on extent report. This is the extent reports, and if I click on upload pick, you're gonna see this upload pick. The the picture is already uh, here, right? So this is how this is uh, the defect. You can track the defects from here. This is uh, the general uh, graphical view that you want to see, right? So now, I mean, th there's no need to see, uh, again, extend uh, your uh, XSLT report for test ng when you have better reports available in the market, right? Like report ng, right? Extend reports, right? So you can try out these utilities and uh, uh, even you can see Jenkins itself is uh, generating some reports over here. It will tell you uh, the last table build, uh, if there there is any failure or not, right? You can check it from here. This was a stable build, and this was the last build that got failed. These were the test results, and you can see your test results over here. If you click on it, it will gonna show you the entire exception. So there, there are a lot of reporting available. It's not that we should be dependent on XSLD reports now, right? Thank you.